Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you want to animate a sprite is to, of course, have a sprite. Then you want to make sure that it's set to import as a sprite by selecting it in the project panel, going to texture type and choosing sprite. Apply to confirm it. Now then what I'm going to do is just drop that in the hierarchy so it's an example. So I'm going to jump into 2D mode, press F to focus, or frame selected I should say, uh, and there's my sprite. Okay, so when you're animating anything in Unity, you want to make sure it's under a parent object. That's very, very important. Otherwise, all the animation that you do, all the transform positions that you give it, are going to be related to the world zero. So create an empty object. I'm just going to call this sprite holder. And then I'm going to reset the position. That's already reset. That's great. Drop my demo sprite onto it like that. Then I can start animating uh, without worrying about where it's positioned because if I move this up here, over here, over here, and then I want to move it, I just move the parent and it's still going to move in the same way. So what I'm going to do is add my animator component. So the animator component is the state machine. Then grab the animation window now and get started and let Unity make the animator controller for me which is probably the easiest way or the laziest way. So I'm going to go window animation and I'm going to dock it at the bottom because it's easy to uh, see. I've got this layout that I kind of like for animating in this way. And then what I'm going to do is to go to add property. So I'm in Unity 5. In previous versions it said add curve. But the same deal, as soon as you start animating it's going to say, oh, so you want to make an animation clip. Okay, so where do you want me to save that? So you choose somewhere within your, within your project that you want it to be saved. So for example, I can make a folder called animation, I'll call this sprite move just for fun. And then I'm going to choose the, for example, transform position to move around. Now, what you should notice is that Unity has also made a controller asset for you, demo sprite, and assigned it to the animator component here. So what you can also do is open window animator and you can see that sprite move, the first animation clip has been given a state and the clip has been assigned. Also note that any new animation clip by default will loop. So if you don't want it to, just uncheck that. Then we'll go back to animating. So I'll open my animation window and my scene view. And then it's simply a case of just dragging in the timeline. And as, as you can see, when I drag in the timeline, the red record button pops up here, so I can actually just start keyframing as I move things around. So at the start, it's at this zero position. Then maybe at one second, I might want it to move up here. And then I drag forward at two seconds. I want it to move down here and maybe be rotated slightly differently. So you can see that it's doing that in a very kind of linear fashion. Move up, move over. If I want it to be a bit more custom, what I can then do is click on curves. So from there, you can see I've got position and rotation. So what I can do is kind of tweak that. So if I wanted it to, uh, for example, move without kind of going in this curved fashion, I can right click on any keyframe, go to flat, and then I get these Bezier curves where I can kind of control how things move and make them behave slightly differently. So that's pretty much the basics of animating sprites.